Hi, everybody. I just, this is so cool. Um, I'm just so grateful to have this experience with all of you. I want to point out that um, just the fact that there's 40 people here together having these conversations and sharing the space is really beautiful. And it doesn't, um, it doesn't seem to amaze me how, how incredible that is um, in this way to have this, to have this space. Um, the collection that this piece is a part of, this one that you're looking at here, is called Resilience. Um, when, when the, I don't even know what you could call, when the start of this thing I've been calling the pressure cooker, you know, uh, it came about, I actually had my very last non quarantine day um, at Numu teaching. And um, that was that was the last time that I went out into the world without a mask on. And, you know, just being like fully, fully covered. And it, it means a lot, you know, to have this, this experience here today. Um, so resilience came about because I wanted to do something but the intensity of what I was experiencing was so severe that all I could do was just cover these little wood panels in black paint. And I'd been working on this process to do watercolor using like an absorbent material on things like canvases and wood panels. And so I had, I had this black stuff and I um, remember doing a post, you know, I, I share a lot of my process where, um, I just said, you know, I'm just gonna make this more 2020. And I, I just covered all of these things in black and I spent maybe maybe a month just covering things in black. And it wasn't until I had more time to reflect that I started thinking, okay, well, what can I pull out of this darkness of, of interest that might change the way that this feels? And I'm kind of obsessed with metallics and, and that's kind of how this, this came together, but you can see they're fairly small. And a, a thing that I feel really proud of is I spent a lot of time making sure that these kind of work in every direction. Because if any, if I've learned anything out of this experience is that the perspective that we look at something from is everything. And as I went through and, and chose names for these paintings once they were finished, the knowing of impermanence felt like, as I reflect back on other times that I've, I guess, overcome other hardships, none that measured whatever, whatever 2020 was, um, that sustains me. Like these, these titles are just things that have sustained me through things that have been difficult. Um, and I wanted to explore that. I wanted to explore what it meant to be resilient when we have no idea what's happening. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm ready for the next slide. Um, yeah, so th this is a little bit more of the, the collection. You can see some of the titles. Um, I felt like I was, as I was naming these, kind of feeling them in and trying to figure out what advice months into the pandemic I would have given myself, you know, the day before that last day out. <laughs> and these are the things that I thought of, you know, just remembering other things that I've overcome personally, um, things, one of them is called, um, it's okay to borrow. Because I think that sometimes if we can't like find these pieces of resilient within ourselves, we can look at how other people are being resilient and that can be enough for a hard day. So that's where that comes from. I'm trying to think if there's anything else cool about this. I do feel like um, I, my hope is that whoever takes these pieces home will feel free to kind of turn these around. And because they're so small, you know, you can kind of remember 
like you can choose to shift perspective and that can do a lot. Um, so th that is that, I love the next slide. So these are pieces from a recent virtual workshop that I did in partnership with Numu. And um, gosh, I'm so proud of these. Like I'm just, I think teaching has become an, a, a part of my practice that I, like I did not anticipate just how to my core it was gonna move me to share the process with people um, and to it, have this space together. Um, it was just, I have no words for the, the connection and the experience that we had. Um, and I'm so proud of the things that they made. Uh, I've even, I've put all their social media on there in case you wanna go check them out. Um, I mean, a few of them are painters, but some had never painted before. And I think this entire pressure cooker experience has grounded me into the value of a creative practice, of a regular creative practice. A goal for me in these classes was to, like in part at least the feeling that like five minutes is enough, like sitting down with yourself for five minutes and putting down one layer of water and dropping in a little bit of ink and watching it move around. Like that's, that's therapy. <laughs> like that's such a, a, a healthy thing to experience. Um, and I'll show you what we made. Uh, this is my, this is my demo. But the idea was we would look at one color at a time. And together we came up with prompts for what we saw were the lessons of 2020. And everybody had, you know, similar to this conversation, I think very different and also very similar things. So we talked about things like what truth is, what friendship is, what it means to be like values aligned in a situation like this. I think it makes you rethink just everything. And then every time we would switch to a different color, we would impart to that some truth, you know? And so, you know, we talked about things like patience as a color and everybody chose their own. Um, so when you're looking at these paintings, you're actually seeing like somebody's process of, of processing, of figuring out how to, without language, get out, you know, whatever, whatever it was that was going on for them during that time. And I think, um, I think this is something that they can continue and I, I hope that they will. May I have the next slide? So post, post pandemic, I think this is something that will continue, but I've become obsessed with working on black backgrounds. <laughs> Um, this is actually paper and it's a mix of watercolor and um, cold wax that I then layered with a paint that creates a mirror effect. I'll show you one. You can kind of see, lighting's awful, but it's incredibly reflective. And I called it reflections once they were finished because I thought this is like I can see myself literally in these little dots. And after I had simmered enough in the pressure cooker, I felt like I had enough strength where I wasn't reaching for like, how do I get over this? Like what's resilience? But it was more about what did I learn and how do I keep it when this is all over? <laughs> and so that's what these, these titles are about. Um, Alone is Not Lonely is currently in another show also called Art in the Time of Corona. Um, yeah, this is, this is my practice.